take this over running deliveries any day. I appreciate your assistance. This should be the last I need from you. Lay it on me, my friend. Hey, what really made you change your mind about tagging along with us? Something about the Virians pique your interest? Just remnants of the past. Well, listen. You ever feel like talking it out? I'm all ears. It's not that I feel uneasy sharing such. You know you have my confidence, Captain Raymond. I am simply still wrestling with how to come to terms with certain circumstances at hand. But I believe by serving under your command, I may yet find the answers I seek. Right, right. Uh, I'm not sure I follow, but always glad to be of help, especially for you, JJ. Uh, and a help you have been. We're almost finished now. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. We got trouble? There is an issue with the integration plant facilities. We need to work out the root cause of the problem. Mm. But I cannot ask you to aid us any more than you already have, Captain. Apologies for offering nothing in return for your support. I think it best you continue your journey without me. After all this... Uh, don't sweat it. Our deal was you'd join only if we got this place back up and running. JJ, you have no need to worry about us now. Come again? You have somewhere to be, right, JJ? We can manage the situation here in your absence. C comrades The knowledge you have shared of civilizations beyond our own have driven the efficiency of our recovery efforts. And thanks to everyone's help, we are much further along schedule than originally planned. Since we are this far in our efforts, the remaining matters are safe in our hands. What do you say, JJ? Hmm. It would seem space calls for me again. But, comrades, know that you can always reach me on the network if you are in need of assistance. Yes. And should such need ever arise, we shall happily aid you however we can. Captain Raymond. And crew. It would appear that I am now at your service. <laughs> Glad to have you with us, pal. It is an honor to have you, Sir JJ. The duty of Duma is to seek out candidates for Scorpion and recommend integration if they are found suitable. Our actions were in service of this mission. However, recent events have given us reasonable cause to question the validity of Scorpion principles. What's this all of a sudden? You struggle to understand the Centralists. Our fundamental principles also. Although integration greatly expands our diversity and potential for evolution as a life form, the Centralists have clearly been influenced by the ambition of the Pan-Galactic Federation, and they have now chosen a path that involves attacking fellow Scorpion. 
we believe that Scorpio has proceeded in an overly uniform manner in our continuous quest for evolution. But would this not be the same even if you had not made contact with the Federation? Correct. It appears to be one of the inherent dangers of Scorpion's ideology. Pursuit of our goal so excessive that it drives us to invasion and even harming of our own kind. In short, forced evolution. All this hand-wringing is well and good, but this is the time for action. Even if we don't have all the answers. So, what do you plan to do? It is an undeniable fact that the centralist Scorpium philosophy is extremely dangerous. We will do whatever we can to stop them. And after that? If we are able to stop the centralists, we are uncertain of what will happen next. That is something we must consider. I like that. You know, I'm starting to see you less and less as a computer. I'm sure things are gonna work out, right? There's no telling how bad the situation on Vergold is gonna be. Better head to my bunk and rest up while I can. Guess I'll just rest up until about we time to... for a rest. Hmm. This is pretty good. We will arrive momentarily in the Vergold system. The battle will likely be fierce. All hands, brace for unexpected impacts. Please still be in one piece for me, Vergold. Better get to the bridge. Status report. Three battleships, one hybrid research vessel, and two Scorpion battleships have invaded Vergold space. The Vergoldian fleet has engaged them. We are approximately 13 minutes away from the main combat zone. Schematics. So the Vergoldians have them outnumbered. Maybe there is some hope after all. Well, it's not really that simple. There's no telling how long the Vergoldian fleet's shields will hold up against Federation battleships. Seven minutes! <sighs> Damn. Tactical. Displaying tactical map. Ugh. Now what? Three Federation vessels and one Scorpion battleship are approaching the combat zone. Two will arrive in 12 minutes. The other two, within the hour. Even if the Aldis starts fighting now, this situation looks bleak. You come all this way just to retreat? No. Never. But I gotta make sure that our info on the Scorpium is shared with my family. We're gonna cut across that battle zone and land on Vergol. But we'll never make it, Ray! I don't have any combat pilot experience! I will take over primary navigation. Please provide support. But, Roger! Three minutes! Captain, the battleship Sadith has broken away from the Vergoldian fleet. Their warp drive is damaged. Two Federation battleships are pursuing them. Phase cannons charging. They're going to fire. They're going to fire on an incapacitated ship? Shit. Bring this about. Go help the Satan. Impossible. If both ships come after us, we will be destroyed in a single barrage. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! We should continue with our initial plan. Our only option is to reach headquarters and share what we have learned of Scorpion and the Federation with the Lawrence family and the military. Wait, what is this? What do you see? Look at tacticals. Two of the Federation ships have left the battle line, and they are now heading for the planet. What do they think they can do with just two ships? Surprise attacker, no, they're never gonna get through the planetary shields. Ray, we're about to return to conventional space. You better settle on a plan. We're going after those two ships that left the front line. Got it. Now entering conventional space. Gonna be following those ships at a safe distance. Hey, 
They aren't headed for the home world. This course is set for... Vergnus! They must be after the Simbo drives on Vergnus. Yeah. Chase them with everything we got. Send an emergency transmission to the military. The fleet they're facing is a feint. We are already at maximum speed. We will not catch them. They are 20 minutes ahead of us. Have you gotten a response from the military? Captain, we're receiving a transmission from Vergnus. It doesn't appear to be from the military. Put them through. Dad! What? Well, well, glad to see you punks are in one piece. Dad, I'm gonna have to keep this short. The main fleet is a feint. Their real target is Provenience Cavern on Vergnus. Two of their battleships are headed there now. Keep your pants on. Maybe you forgot, but Vergnus has a permanent defense fleet. It'll take more than a couple of Federation ships to get through them. Raul Lawrence. This is Lieutenant Mario L. Kenny of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Please, sir, heed your son's warning. These ships are renegades, broken away from the fleet's chain of command. Normal assumptions do not apply. Why is there a Kenny aboard the Aldous? Uh, long story. We've been through a lot here. Dad, this is important. I need your help in getting the data we have to the military ASAP. These bastards, they're Scorpio. They're not what you think. Federation ship sighted. They're transferring down. Oh, they broke through the planetary shield? What the hell are these guys? Security, strengthen frontal defenses. Hmm, looks like this ain't gonna be as easy as I thought. The commander of defense on Bergness is an old pal of mine. Send me your data, I'll convince him. But I want you two to get the hell out of this. Wait, what? Hey, you don't really think the Aldous can take on a fleet of battleships now, do you? Get out of the combat zone and keep yourselves alive. Got that? Over and out. I believe Raoul's judgment here is sound. All we have done will be for nothing if the Aldous is destroyed. <laughs> Ray. What? A Federation vessel is hailing us. Have we been spotted? No. If they were with Remington, they would have shot without warning. Put them through. Understood. Putting them on screen now. This is Admiral Luca Maverick, hailing from the Pan-Galactic Federation vessel GFSS 1007T, the Kalnus. Admiral Maverick? What do you want, Admiral? Here to ask for our surrender? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not rush to conclusions here. Would it help at all if I told you I've spoken with Curtis? Our vessel is headed for Vergald along with one of our newest battleships. At maximum warp, as we speak, to put an abrupt stop to Remington's incursion. We should be there in around 40 minutes. Can you hold out for that long? The Vergoldian fleet might just barely make it, but they've also put forces down on Vergnus, and have started attacking cities and civilians. A detached force, huh? You require any backup? No, no. We'll take care of it ourselves. Uh, think you can handle it? Sure, we'll be fine. I can't apologize enough for Remington's actions, and the cowardice of the Federation. Yeah, gotcha, but actions speak louder than apologies. Got it. Let's all get through this alive. Over. He's a good man, who worked alongside my grandfather at the Federation. We can trust him. Fine. We'll let the military and Admiral Maverick handle the defense of Vergal. We are gonna transfer down to Vergnus. We're gonna go help my dad. Understood. We can transfer down to Lawrence Logistics. Thought you were gonna try to stop me. I never assume that you, Raoul, or Antonio will ever listen to what I say. Yeah, no point in starting now, then. Ant, we're heading to the surface. Once we're there, I want you to move away from Vergnus. No need to tell me that. You think I'm gonna hang out here staring down a couple of battleships? Ray. Sorry, but... I'm gonna need your help. You need not have asked. Exactly. If it's a fight to save your home, then of course we're going to go. Indeed. Any battle of yours is a battle of ours. My agreement to maintain Elena is still in effect. I must make right the failings of my comrades. Thanks, guys. All right, then. Let's do this! 
Okay, all set and ready to go. Time to head for the transfer chamber and get to Vergnus. can come raise hell and do whatever you please on my planet, do ya? Uh, Dad, wait, 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 it's me, it's me! Huh? It, is that you, Ray? When the hell are you gonna start listening to your old man, you dolt? But you did make it back here in one piece, I'll give you that. Yeah. So, Elena, what are these bastards really after? They are likely here to learn the secrets of the Simbo Drive. The squadron engaging the Vergold defense fleet is a diversion. How do you figure? Many Federation officers that have integrated with Scorpium beamed down on Vergnus. I would guess that this is their main force. I still don't know what the hell these Scorpium are, but I get the picture. The Federation's always been on our case to join up just so they can get their mitts on our Simbo Drive. Ah, looks like they've finally blown their tops. Hey, Ray. Yeah? What is it? How many times have I told you to give me all the important details up front? I, I sent you the data. I passed it on to the Defense Base Commander and told him to read it. I'm busy protecting my business. Ain't got time for that. The hell? <laughs> I'm guessing this all means these jerks will be going after the Museum of Vergnesium Symbology. Right, Elena? Seems likely. Am I correct in assuming you all are the resident experts on these Scorpium at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Okay, then. In that case, I'll leave the defense of the museum to you. I'll send word along to the Vergnesian military and police. Just make sure you keep this city safe. Got that? Don't worry about that. We're on it. Huh, good answer. Don't screw this up. Once we've taken care of this mess, bring your friends around. We'll have one hell of a party. Yeah. The Museum of Symbology is just south of here. They're counting on your help. You helped save our home. Now it's time we helped you save yours. We managed to procure a few items from a damaged storehouse.
we'll make the best of what we have. All right. I think that should do it. That should do it. Right. I think that should do it.
All right, I think that should do it. 